So with a click of the button, I'm going to show you how to turn a blog into a Medium article, a WordPress article, a Pinterest board and pin, LinkedIn post and Facebook, and maybe a few surprises along the way. So let's get into it right now. So I created this video that did pretty well and I gave me an idea to expand on it even more. And with a click of a button, I was, was able to create this all these and this. So let's go over how I actually do all this. So that's what I'm going to be doing is sharing all that with you guys step by step. Let's get into it. So this is a two automation process. I'll probably be adding more. This is a completely free software. I think uh, you can run two at a time uh, for it to be free. Let me double check. Yeah, so two scenarios completely for free, a thousand operations. I don't think you'll be doing more than a thousand operations, but I actually am using just the $9 version. So all it is, is we're gonna go to these operations here. And I've included a link, link to mike.com down below. And if you want to download these completely for free, I've already actually added them to our community. I'm gonna put this in our community. These are all of our free courses. You can just go to content and scale templates and then it will be actually in here. So if you scroll down to one, one click content creator and I'm gonna attach them to files here. So let me just download them real quick. So the first one is this one, which will be, uh, I'll walk you through step by step on what this all is, but I'm just gonna show you real quick. I'm gonna export this one, export this one. This is how easy it is. You can just go to our group and import them in one click and you'll have them right here. So. Uh, that's how easy it is, really easy. Um, we can go to discard and the other one, you just have to do the same thing is uh, import. This is the first one and boom. Now you have both of them, but now I'm gonna walk you through, oh, actually I'm gonna actually upload it into this file, like I said, so that you have both of them right now. Um, upload, and so those are saved. Let me just make sure those are saved. Yeah, so they'll be here for you in the content creation. But I'll walk you through step-by-step step on actually what all of these do now so you know how to do it. And like I said, all links are in the description for all the tools you need and the community so you get access to that. All right, first things first, we're gonna go ahead and create a new scenario and we're gonna do a Google Drive. And so, boom, it's Google Drive. We're gonna watch when a folder is in a folder or files in a folder. And so just my creation time, uh, date, choose the folder you want. And so I picked uh, my Zim writer. Start from manually, click OK. Should populate, so breathe easier in Boise. And so we're gonna click on that and then run once. And now we have all of the information that we need, which is kind of sweet. And then what we're gonna do is download that file. Download. So we're gonna look for that file. And it should be the very first one. It says file ID and file ID. So we're gonna click on success. We uh, choose where to start from, choose manually. Boom, click to run. Now it's downloading that file. And so now we have the file here. And then next we're gonna do mark down to HTML. And so we're going to match the pattern and do a replace. Um, so all we're gonna do is go ahead and match the pattern. And this is going, this little string here is going to remove or keep everything before the dot text. And then global match, no, key sensitive, no, multi-line, no. And then the text at the bottom is just gonna be the name here, which is breathe easier in Boise, how to do duct cleaning.txt. Run this real quick. So choose to unhook, choose manually. And, and so now we have the, uh, the, fi the variable here and it doesn't have the txt. So we're gonna now going to uh, connect this we're going to put the pattern and it's going to be an underscore. So it's going to remove all of these underscores. The new value is that space that I talked about. So we're going to go ahead and add a space there. You do need a space. We are going to want a global match here. And then uh, the variable at the bottom is just this uh, variable that we got at the top. 
And then we're going to, again, start from the very beginning, choose where to start, run once, run. And now we should have a title without any uh, text or any underline. So now we have a working title. So let's actually now start building this out. We're gonna add a router. So we're gonna have our uh, WordPress and we're gonna create a post. We're gonna do medium, create a post. And then finally, Pinterest. And we're gonna create a board. All right, so this part is easy. I mean, all we have to do is add uh, text. The content is the HTML here. Um, as far as the type, it's posts. And then um, we have some other stuff here. Slug is going to be also the uh, title here. Um, and I believe that's it. You can save it into draft and add any kind of tags or categories that you want um, status. So to change this to draft. Um, so you can spice it up. I will be adding, let me just uh, bring you guys in. I will be adding an updated version of this uh, in the group that will add images and all sorts of cool stuff that I'm planning on doing. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Same thing for medium. All we have to do is do the title here. Format is going to be HTML. Uh, we have HTML right here for the markdown and then save this to draft. So I'm hooked the Pinterest module here and I just have medium and uh, WordPress. So I'm going to go ahead and run this uh, all the way through. And as you can see, there's no uh, drafts here, no drafts in my post here. So let's go, go ahead and run this. I don't know why I have the hiccups out of nowhere, but we're gonna push through. So easier to breathe in Boise, run it once. So we have our WordPress and our Medium. We refresh it. There we go. Easier to breathe in Boise. This is our uh, article right here. And then we have our uh, drafts here in Medium. Boom, ready to go. So we are reconnecting our Pinterest here. We're gonna need to add a module here for ChatGPT, Chat. GPT and we're going to do a completion. So we actually could do this two ways. Um, I had it previously where I was having it turn it into a JSON file. So I had multiple variables. Uh, I think that that might be confusing for a few people. So I'm going to run two chat GPTs uh, and one's going to be creating it's going to grab the title and create a shorter title under 50 words uh, that is SEO rich. And then I'm going to create a second one for the script description and that's going to be under 50 uh, character or 500 characters so you need both of those in order to feed the uh, next prompt so we have our uh, five here let me just uh, go right here so the first one is a system you are an expert in SO SEO and take all the data given extract the information no fluff or extra create a description from the HTML no extra fluff or just a summary in under 500 characters with max character zero. And then that's going to be for the description. And then for the uh, summary here, or for the rather for the uh, title, same kind of prompt, you're an expert at SEO. Um, we're going to shorten the title that we got from this replacement over here. And then we're going to create a title under 50 characters. Let's go ahead and delete this module and then we'll run this once to get that going. Boom. As you can see, we now have our uh, results here, the description and then the title. And so now we'll add back the Pinterest, create a board. Um, I think I s screwed these up. So this should be 11 and this should be 12, I believe. Let's give that a go. Rerun this. And rerun this. Choose that. And now we should be on uh, ready to go. Boom. So and so now inside Pinterest we have Boise duck cleaning for quality. Improve your indoor quality. And right here as the input duck Boise quality. Improve your 
Uh, so there we go. We have our first board done. So now I need to just unlink all these. Go ahead and put all these back and save this bad boy because now we have our uh, first one done. I'll be adding LinkedIn and some other ones inside the group so that you guys have those, but I just wanted to share this. We do need to create the pins, so let's do that now. Like I said, if you want, all these are in our group already ready to go for you, so enjoy. And it's just in our group here with all of our training. Just go to content and scale and look for the one-click auto blogger. So this next one's easier. We're just gonna watch for a new board creation. So Pinterest, uh, watch for new boards. We're gonna run that once. And as you can see, we have that new board of duck cleaning description. And then we're going to do a chat JPT. We're going to do a uh, create an image. So generate an image. And the model is going to be Dolly 3. And so we're just going to grab the, I just have a board here type of visual, create a visual of a stunning art of a image for Pinterest. This blah, 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 blah. I mean, you can create whatever uh, you can. But we're going to grab the, uh, give the description. And that description is going to uh, feed the information of what this board is about. And then from there, we'll just run this real quick. Um, so run once. Now we have that image here and the output. So the data, we want to uh, look at that image, create a pin. So now we have our pin here and we're just gonna use the uh, source data. So uh, image URL, that is the data here that we just got. Uh, URL here, we gotta make sure that we just grab that. And then uh, we're gonna add it to the board, but we're gonna map that. So go ahead and map to board ID. And then uh, title is gonna be what we grabbed from earlier. And then you just run it once and you are good. Boom, our output here. So no tags currently, but just our description. And then we should have that image in the Pinterest if we refresh this page. Boom, and there we go. Pretty sweet to say the least. And there you have it. So very easy to do. I uh, walked you through step-by-step step on how to do that. Like I said, I will be updating this uh, because there are things like restrictions on how often you can do a pin. And I do want to add the link to backlink to the website to create domain authority and just to have a link that goes from Pinterest to our website, our affiliate program, whatever that is. So you definitely don't wanna miss those updates in the community because that's where I'll be updating that uh, blueprint so that you can have them right away. So uh, remember to like and subscribe, smash the like button, ring that notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one.